Hello YouTube. Um, today I have just to show you is a little pop can stove that I made. Um, all it is is it's basically the same thing as the pressurized stoves that have the inner and outer wall, but it ha it doesn't have an outer wall or an inner wall. Sorry. And what how it works is that the, you put um, your fuel in this top hole here, and it just sits in the bottom of the can. When you light that, what it does is it sucks the um, it burns, and then it sucks in air through all these holes on the sides. And it's it's an updraft stove, so it mixes with air um, in the chamber, and then comes out the top. The um, only problem with this is that the only thing I don't the only problem is is um, you need a pot stand for it. You can't just put your pot right on top because of course it will just go out. So I'm gonna light this up for you. Just bear with me as I move the laptop onto here. Um, what I'm using for fuel is 99.9% .9 pure methyl hydrate. Yes, it is poisonous, but it works amazingly. Let me just go with my fire steel. Another good piece of gear is this, it's a fire steel, and um, what it does is if you, if for people who don't know what this is, is that this is a piece of magnesium and ferrocene, and I don't like this, the striker that it gives me because it's like really jagged teeth, I like to use the back of a hacksaw blade because it works better. What you do is you just strike it, and it makes lots and lots of sparks. And this will ignite just about anything, except solid blocks of wood, obviously. Um, and yeah, and this is a North 49 brand. You can also get ones like, um, like light my fire and that. So what I'm going to do, I have like no alcohol left, so I'm just going to put a little tiny bit in. So you pour it in, like that. You don't want to overfill it, otherwise it kind of screws up the stove. That's probably good enough. I'm going to light it. There we go. You can probably hear that. I actually put a little salt in the fuel, so I find that helps you see the flame, and did it glow on me? No, it didn't, but I don't see any flame. Oh, no, it's still going. It needs to warm up. These stoves, yes, these kind do need to prime, too. There we go. Vapor coming off of it. The flame isn't that big right now because I, because of course it's cold, but also because ouch, I haven't um, filled it that much and there's not that much alcohol or uh, there's not that much um, air coming. In here, I'll just move the camera so you can see it. Hopefully you can see it. You can barely see the flame. Dude, right there. Yes, it is burning. See here, I'll just do this to prove it. So if you know fire steels, you know that if you grind it into the into a fire, it will catch on fire. 
again if I add a little salt maybe. That would help. And more salt. What salt does is it colors the flame orange. There you go. And now you can see it quite well too. That works just like a Bunsen burner. That will stay lit as long as it has fuel. So yeah, uh, that I haven't really done a boil test on this yet, just because I don't have a pot stand made for it yet. But it throws off a fair amount of heat, and to extinguish it, you just—it's kind of hard to extinguish it. You have to either wait until it's out of fuel, or you blow on it really hard. Oh yeah, and you can blow right down the middle, and it will help heat up this. Whoa help heat up the stove. And the flame will get big. There we go. And you can actually see the um, fuel boiling inside the stove, but right now I think it's actually running on... No, it's not. I thought it was running on the vapor, but it's not. Quite big. So now I'm just I'm just going to uh, blow this out if I can. That is going to be really hard to extinguish. But yeah, that's what it is. So I hope you had fun watching that. Thanks. This is uh, Airsoft Hero One, and thanks for watching.